Hi there, and welcome to the Uke Stuff channel. This is an unboxing video. It's actually part two of an unboxing of a couple Koa Kalane ukuleles that were sent to me for review. One was sent to me to keep and, and whatever, and the other was sent to give away to a student of mine. And again, I teach K through five elementary right now, and I do teach ukulele to my fifth graders, and I'll be able to give that away to one of my students. So I'll have to think about how I'm going to do that as well. So we unboxed a solid top acacia, laminate back and sides acacia. I'm going to put the card up here, if I remember. I can't remember which side it's going to appear, whether it's that side or that side. So I'm going to put the card up there. You can watch that unboxing if you'd like to know more about it. I'll summarize things for you, though, in case you don't want to go back and watch that whole video. Ultimately, I saw something about the company on Facebook. Somebody had bought one, had been gushing about how they bought a Koa ukulele at a drop dead price and I was interested in that to see what was going on. Ultimately koa is a very rare wood right now. The only way you can get koa is if one falls and dies and then you can harvest the wood. Um, there are companies like Kanalea that are reforesting koa trees. It makes sure that the industry continues especially with ukulele but koa is very very expensive. However, koa is a sub-branch of a species called acacia, and acacia grows all over the world, and it is a very common wood, but it is does not have the same properties as koa. Acacia tends to have a little bit of a darkness to it, at least in my opinion, whereas koa tends to have a very bright and resonant, and it's all about the climate that the tree grows in, even more than the species of the tree. Um, so that's what kind of makes koa different and why it's so valued as a tone wood for those especially Hawaiian K brands. So this is a small company that's been a woodworking company and they got into ukuleles but they're made from acacia. They call it acacia koa and that's where some new ukulele people can get confused by that or new ukulele players can get confused because they see the word koa and their eyes light up. Well just because it's acacia doesn't mean that it's bad by any means of the imagination. Acacia makes a wonderful ukulele, but it's not koa. There's a difference there. Still, their prices are amazing. Now, you can find them at www.koakalane.com. And if you look at their special offer site, that's where you can find their instruments that they're selling. And they'll send them to you, and they'll come through the U.S. Postal Service, and they'll get to your house, and you can open it and hopefully have a really good experience. So I liked the first one that I opened. As I'm recording this open boxing, I have not reviewed the first one yet. Perhaps by the time that you're watching this, I already have. But um, so far, so good. So today we're going to open up this second instrument. And I think I know what it is, but we'll find out together. So I'm going to cut open the tape that's holding it together. And we'll get to it. Here we go. Make sure you get that off the top too. Now it's probably going to ship to you just like this in the triangular box, which should protect most ukuleles in shipping. So when you open it up, you get the case on the inside. And just taking a look at the case, it's lightly padded. It's not super thick or anything like that, but it's a free case. It has the really nice Koa Kalani engraving in there with the turtle. <laughs> Zipper works just fine. You can put like a tuner in there or whatever. And let's open it up. By the way, there is a handle and a backpack strap. So let's open up and see what we've got. Okay, here we go. Are you ready? So you've got a crown headstock with the koa kalane that is an inlay in there. You have open geared tuners, chrome open geared tuners. Let's keep going down. You have your fret board with the front fret markers. And on the side, they include one single side marker dot at the seventh fret, but that does give you placement, so it's there. And then this one is solid acacia all the way around with the turtles inlaid 
down there. We have a slotted bridge. It is not a compensated set. It looks like actually more like one of the old Koloha. And then the thing that I really so far liked, and I, again, I haven't reviewed it yet on the other instrument, is this neck profile is amazing. Um, again, this is a long neck soprano, solid acacia ukulele. Let's take a look at that pattern a little more. I'm sorry about the, the light, but that's what we've got. Here's our little turtles. There's the book matching on the bottom. There's the back. Looks like there's some flame happening in the back. That's really nice. And they're incredibly affordable for a solid body, solid top ukulele. Now let's listen for resonance. Seems like it's nice and thin. Again, a full review of this will be coming later, but let's tune it up and see what it sounds like. So I've got my Jawoom Smart Tuner on hand. Here we go. Now again, this hasn't had a chance to settle yet, so... Also, let's check out a little bit of Fur Elise. So just looking at it really quickly, I can feel that I'm going to have to do something with the frets that have the potential to be a little sharp. It's not sticking out quite yet, but it's close. It's close. But otherwise, what a pretty instrument, and it feels nice to play. I'll look forward to giving you all the measurements and a complete rundown on it later. Also, since I recently bought a Koaloha Long Neck Opio ukulele, which is pretty much the same spec as a solid acacia ukulele, what I can do is I can make sure that both of them have the same strings on them later and do a comparison between these two instruments as well, which will be kind of fun. The other thing I wanted to mention before I go from this video is if you're watching this video is the only video that you watch before you buy one of these. If you live somewhere where the humidity goes below 40% relative humidity at any point during the year, make sure that you also humidify your ukulele. They sell ukulele humidifiers. You can buy a humidifier. Um, you can make a humidifier, but make sure that you humidify that instrument because as a solid body instrument, or like its sister, a solid top instrument, like you have that, you want to make sure that you protect that top or that solid body from cracking under 40% relative humidity. So just keep that in mind as well. But so far, I'm really impressed by these instruments. Great pricing, wonderful neck, and we'll get the full review of both of these later, although this one may already be out as this open boxing is being published. All right, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day, and I will be back soon with some more Uke stuff for you.